is up, Taurus? How are you guys doing? It's time to go ahead and take a look at your bonus reading for May 2024. So when I do bonus readings, what I'm looking for is details, situations, or scenarios that didn't make it into the main monthly reading. Now, for those of you who would like to find out how to schedule a personal reading, all the information on how you can go about doing that is down here in the description box of this video, okay? So I'm starting this off with the new person, okay? So if you are not dealing with, interested in, or inquiring about a new person, and you're not having issues or concerns with a new person that you just recently connected with, this is not for you. Let's see what the energy looks like. Knight of Wands reversed. Hmm. Maybe this person wants to take things slow, possibly. I don't know, let me see. <clears throat> that could indicate some inconsistencies, too. Yeah, ooh, Queen of Wands reversed. Okay. Eh, something's kind of triggering your defenses here, isn't it? Something is. Yeah, it doesn't really look like you're dealing with a person that really seems like they have a lot of passion and, and they're wanting to put a lot of effort into this. And honestly, it kind of looks like this person's a little bit inconsistent. Um, and you may be wondering whether or not they're even interested in you at all. Because the only cup card that I have on the table is the Queen of Cups reversed. Other than that, oh, I'm sorry, we got the Four of Cups. Okay. But not really a whole lot of energy here indicating a really heavy emotional connection. Not really. Could be a Sagittarius for some of you. Okay. Ah, this is reminding you of something that you dealt with in the past, isn't it? For some of you, with that Six of Cups reverse there, the last time you dealt with somebody who acted like this, it didn't go well. So this might be triggering some past, past memories for some of you. Well, let's look and see this person's real energy. And let's see how they really, truly feel about you and what their real intentions are new person Taurus is dealing with? What are their true feelings and intentions? Ah, Hierophant reverse. This person, a bit of a commitment phobe. A little bit afraid of commitment, honestly. A yeah, Ten of Pentacles. Queen of Swords. Yeah. Ah, man. Devil card. So, Emperor reversed. I had a feeling that was going to come out at some point. So, this has to do with insecurities. Okay. This person is kind of insecure. Could be an Aries for some of you. So, when you have somebody who is not really connecting with you, because they're insecure, so they're not letting you in, they're not letting you get close because they're insecure. Why is that? Why is that? Because of what happened in their last relationship. So, uh, they want, I don't think this, I wouldn't, I don't think it's coming from a bad place. I don't think this person is like necessarily trying to play games with you and manipulate you. But I do think this person kind of wants a relationship that looks good, but that, you know, they're, they, they don't let you all the way in on that deep level. They're more concerned about, you know, being in a relationship that makes them look good, right? You know, which there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with the Ten of Pentacles. There's nothing wrong with you know, things looking good on the surface. But as long as it looks good at the deepest level too, right? So, okay. Could be a Capricorn for some of you. I have Taurus, Capricorn, and Aries here. Oh, I got Cancer too. Oh, I got Leo. Okay, you know it could be anybody. Well, let's see how this situation's playing out in May. We'll 
things take a turn for the best or will they take a turn for the worst? How are things playing out in May? Ah, uh, you might actually honestly start thinking about exploring other options. Yeah, nine of swords. I just, I just don't think that you're at a place in your life where you're wanting to lay around and constantly question your own self-worth over anybody. This is like, I, I don't want anybody in my life that's just going to make me lose sleep. Right? I can do bad on my own. <laughs> I don't need you coming in my life if, if all you're going to do is make me lose sleep, be inconsistent. I'm thinking, honestly, you're, you're probably going to try to avoid disappointment and probably at least start thinking about exploring other options, more than likely. Lover's card reversed. Yeah. Well, let's see what the advice is. Is that a good idea? Some of you dealing with a Pisces also have Gemini here. What's the best advice? What's the best advice? What is the advice? Hey, man. You know what that is, right? That means walk away. You know me, I like to bend the advice. Let me see if I can meet you in the middle here. Let me see if it'll give me any wiggle room to try to, try to bend it and work with you a little bit. Let's see. Karmic wheel. Okay. Uh, the only thing that I can say with the Page of Swords right here is at least communicate your concerns. All right? At least communicate your concerns. Don't, don't let these red flags keep building up and building up and building up and building up until, bow, you explode. Right. At least communicate your concerns like a mature adult and see if they put forth any kind of effort to alleviate your concerns. <clears throat> it's about all you can do, really. About all you can really do. So because that actually tells you a lot about a person's intentions, because I, I know I've said this a million times and I'm going to keep saying it. Intentions and actions are two different things. Just because somebody has good intentions doesn't always mean that they have good actions. And just because somebody has bad intentions doesn't always mean that they have bad actions. So if you really want to find out a person's intentions, where are you coming from? What I'm going to do is I'm going to express a concern that I have. And I'm just going to step back and see if you even put forth the slightest bit of effort to at least try. To alleviate my concerns. I'm not saying that you have to wake up the next day and just be the perfect person that I want you to be overnight. No, 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 no. I just want to see if you're putting forth any kind of effort. If not, if you're not putting forth any kind of effort to alleviate my concerns in the least bit, you know what that tells me? You don't care how I feel. It's that simple. If I see you put forth the slightest bit of effort, that means that you care how I feel. See what I'm saying? All right. Now we're going to take a look at the current person. Current person. <clears throat> so if you're not experiencing any problems or issues in your current relationship, this is not for you. What is happening between Taurus and the current person? <clears throat> I've actually been doing a lot of current person Zoom calls here lately. If I can remember correctly, all but like two or three of the Zoom calls that I've had for the past like two weeks have been current person. So, probably a lot of you dealing with that, right? Let's see. Oh, drama, fighting, arguing. There's just no peace in this relationship. Constant drama, button heads, not seeing eye to eye, arguments, conflict. Uh, 
That's a bummer when it gets to that point, isn't it? Knight of Wands reverse there, too. Oh, 80 cups. This is telling me you're probably about to walk away from this. Like, straight up. Yeah, man. Empress reversed, 80 cups. It normally doesn't come out like this in the first spread, but this is just straight up telling me you're about to walk away. Or somebody is. Somebody is. It feels like your energy, though. Because it's next to the Queen of Pentacles here. The Queen of Pentacles is a Taurus. So, yeah. Seven of Wands. Just too much drama. Mm, you know that this is a karmic soulmate, right? You all do have karma from a past life. I don't know, man. It came out pretty point blank and to the point. That I, I would give it a very, very high chance that a lot of you are just going to be walking away from this in May. Now let's see the current person's uh, feelings, their energy, their intentions. What kind of person are they? Boom. Ah, see? This relationships have burden on them too. They lose a lot of sleep over this too. Ah, oh, but see, this person's emotionally immature. This person's a little bit emotionally manipulative, maybe an emotional game player. Yeah, though they definitely, this person's very, 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 very defensive. Very, very defensive. And death card, tower card. I think they're ready to be done with this. Just like you. I think I think y'all are right. Right in the line with each other's, you know, energy. You're ready to walk away. They are too. Could be a Scorpio for some of you. Could be a fellow Taurus. I also have cancer here. Yep, I mean, so this person is a lot more hurt than you may think. This hurts them too. But when you got the King of Cups in the reverse, that means this person may not be emotionally mature enough to even know how to handle a successful relationship. It's work, boy. It's work. It is work. Anything worthwhile in life is going to take work. <clears throat> Anything. Well, I think we kind of already got the outcome. It's... It's not really looking like this is going to last through May. Let's get the advice. What's the advice? Hmm, Seven of Swords reversed. Okay, so the only... Well, hang on. Yeah, communicate your intentions very clearly and don't stoop to the level of doing something shitty and shady, okay? Don't do that. Don't do that. I'm not saying that all of you are going to do that. I think that the majority of the Tauruses that follow me probably aren't going to do that. Uh, but I think that this is probably for the couple of you who may have so much bitterness and so much resentment that you might be tempted to stoop to a low level and do something shitty and shady, like go out and cheat or something like that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Okay. If I mean, nothing, at, at the end of the day, when this is all said and done and it's over with, you want to be able to go to bed at night knowing that you didn't do anything wrong, right? I remember uh, I was in a really, really, really insanely abusive relationship one time with this, the most toxic woman I have ever been with in my life. Like, it, th this woman seriously humbled me and made me want to go apologize to every ex that I've ever called a psycho, <laughs> you know? And I was on her phone plan, and I had moved away to a different state, 
and she said, well, you need to send me my phone back. I said, okay. And a buddy of mine said, you ought to smash it, smash it, and send it back to her. I said, no, nah, I ain't doing that. I ain't doing that. I, I want to be able to tell myself I didn't do anything wrong. I know I didn't. I ain't going I, I to do nothing shady. I ain't going to do nothing shady. I ain't going to stoop to that level. You see what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, when it's all said, done, and over with, you want to be able to go to bed at night knowing that you didn't do anything shady. You didn't do nothing stupid. All right? But, yeah. When it's getting to that point to where y'all are both about ready to walk away, it's, to, it's basically you can do it yourself or you can let the universe do it for you. Um, just saying. All right. Now we're going to take another look at the person from the past. See if we left any details out about the person from the past. Uh-oh. Five of Swords. Uh-oh. Hang on. Not ready yet, y'all. Hold up. Two more. Okay, ooh, Knight of Swords. There very well may be communication. You know what? This kind of feels like communication. Y'all are probably going to clear the air with this person, but I don't trust it. I don't trust it. Kind of feeling like this person wants to come forward, make peace with you, clear the air and whatnot, but I don't trust it. I don't trust this person at all. <clears throat> kind of looks to me like they, they, if they have the opportunity, they would love to sabotage you. They would love to. Yeah, see? Three of Swords. They're still heartbroken over this. They haven't gotten over this. They haven't moved on from this. Five of Cups. Three of Swords. Mm. Yeah, what they're probably going to try to do to see if they can can sneak in there and and get a reconciliation attempt out of you. It's probably what they're really wanting to do. And if they can't get a reconciliation attempt from you, they probably want to try to see if they can sabotage anything anything new you have coming in. Let's dig their energy up a little bit deeper. Let's dig their energy up deeper. Let's see. Knight of Coins. Page of Coins. Four of Coins reversed. Okay, yeah, nine of cups reverse, six of coins. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think they're actually trying to reconcile with you. It's what they really want. That's what they really want. So this person's a very lonely, empty codependent, emotional codependent. Yeah, devil card, like I said. <clears throat> it's not really closure that they're wanting. They're probably going to disguise it as closure, but they're really trying to slide up in there and see if they can reel you back in. And if they can't reel you back in, they probably have some ulterior motives. Death card reverse. They're trying to they're they're trying to get back with you. How's this situation playing out? What's the outcome of this? Ace of Wands reversed. Yeah, I, I don't think this is going anywhere. I don't think you're going to play that game. I don't think so. Chariot reversed. Nah, you're putting a stop to this. You and this person are not moving forward at all. Some of you may not even respond to this person. 
don't know, I'm kind of getting this weird, funny energy where some of you, even if this person was to show up in your inbox, you wouldn't even, wouldn't even entertain it. Two of Cups reversed. Yeah, it's not going to work out the way they wanted it to. Yeah, it's not. Hmm. So, I don't really think you all are getting closure from this. I don't think so. I don't think so. But it's, it doesn't look like they're going to su successfully sabotage you. It doesn't look like it. So if they try, it'll probably be a horribly failed attempt if they try to sabotage you. I, I don't think they will successfully sabotage you. I don't think so. They might try, though. So, like, if they try to get back with you, if they try to weasel their way back in and you don't do it, you might hear some rumors floating around about you, you know? You know, you, you know how people do. Oh, man, you know what? I heard, I heard that you have an STD or some shit like that, you know? What's the advice here? No, that deck's not cooperating with me. What's the advice? the advice. Ooh, man, just know who you're dealing with here, okay? Know who you are dealing with. So here, let, let me just, let me just put it to you like this, okay? The sooner you can understand this, the, the, the easier it gets to deal with certain people in certain situations, okay? One cold, hard, sad fact of life is most people never change. Most people. They just never change. And that is, like I said, it's a cold, hard, sad fact of life. But most people just straight up do not change. Absolutely do not. So I know that, especially if you're on a path of healing and evolution, it can be really, really easy to just like assume that everybody else is on the same path. I know that's the mistake that I would always make. I would always end up thinking that, man, if I'm healing and evolving and you know, learning how to manifest a better life for myself, then everybody must be doing that, right? Oh, no. Oh, no. So most people don't really truly change unless they're put in a situation to where they're forced to, where they have to. So if you dealt with a person that was a sneaky, selfish, deceitful fucking person, they're more than likely not going to change, more than likely. And if they do, even if they did genuinely change, they more than likely wouldn't come back to you begging for you to see that they've changed. Because when you undergo a change like that, you do a lot of healing. When you do healing, you let go of the past. If I did you wrong in the past and I healed from it, I have successfully healed from that in my heart, and I've let it go myself. So I don't need to come begging for you to see that I've changed. If you want to come see that I've changed, come see. If you want to see it, you'll see it. If you don't, you won't. You see what I'm saying? So just understand who you're dealing with here. Um, especially, now this is what I'm trying to figure out for a lot of you. Was this a long time ago? Was this something recent? Or was this an old situation? Because it's honestly kind of feeling like, for the majority of you, this doesn't really feel like a recent situation for a lot of you. This kind of feels, for the majority of the Tauruses that need to hear this, it feels like something that was probably six months or longer. Um, and then it's really easy, when you spend that much time away from somebody, it's easy for the mind to try to, like, sweep all the negativity from the past under the rug. You know, sometimes we can do that. Like, especially if it's a bad relationship or 
a bad job that we worked at. After a while, once you move on from something, your, your memory has this interesting thing that it does where it takes all the negative memories and hides them under the rug and just paints a picture of nothing but all the positive memories. And all you have is a composite of the positive memories. So you can think back and be like, hmm, I, I don't even really remember what was bad about it, you know? So just, just be careful with this right here. I don't know if I were you, if I would even respond to this person right away. Do as much healing in your own heart as you possibly can. Find as much closure yourself in your own heart as you possibly can, okay? And then, then ask yourself if you're interested in communicating with this person, okay? All right, well, I feel like those were the messages that my Taurus friends needed to hear, so I am going to go ahead and end this video here. Thank you all once again for tuning in and playing along. Don't forget to check down there in the description of this video if y'all would like to find out how to schedule a personal reading. And I'm going to get out of here now, y'all. Thanks again for tuning in. I will see you sometime between now and the rest of all eternity. Stay blessed.